Hello Scorpio and welcome to your reading for the 23rd of April until the 29th. You're on Galactic Soul Healing, my name is Sonia Jane. So if your Sun, Moon or Ascendant is in the sign of Scorpio in your astrological birth chart, then this reading may apply for you in full or in part. And I'm just going to grab three cards off the top here. As always, please take what resonates and discard the rest. And also I'd like to just call in the Archangel Ascended Masters light beings and any other spirit guides that would like to be with us for this reading well, let's start okay so today we're going to be looking at uh, an energy scorpio that you would like to bring more of into your life um and then we're going to do some more cards around that on that theme so let's just have a look here so, okay, so we have the Four of Swords, the Page of, uh, sorry, the Knight of Wands, and the Six of Swords as well. Six of Swords, yeah. Okay, so the Page of Wands is looking like, yeah, that's like a, uh, a card of enthusiasm moving into something that you're passionate about. Maybe you're making some choices here, so you're maybe you're leaving something behind and you're wanting to move into something that you're really into. And you're kind of perhaps you're um you're literally, you know, when they say, you know, just sleep on it. So maybe you're contemplating um what you're going to be doing or how you're going to move from uh how you're going to move into this new thing that you're wanting to be doing. And uh, usually with it, when it's to do with wands or fire, it's about that uh, spirituality or intuition, creativity. Okay, so it's seeming, um, Scorpio, that you're wanting to move into something that's going to activate those aspects of you, your creative and intuitive and spiritual side. And I think you're taking a little bit of time out or maybe you're feeling that you're wanting to that you need to take some time out of other things in order to do that so now we're just going to look at um a little bit further into that and just see how you where you're at with it and how you're going with that uh so here we have the world the chariot and the two of swords yeah so it seems that you you are moving forward that you're um what's Perhaps you're having that you're deciding whether or not you're going to move forward if if now is the time, and uh, also with this world card, you there are, there are other responsibilities I guess that you're having to fulfil at the moment as well. So yeah, this um, the world card always has that you know uh, Saturn uh, feel. So this. There's restriction, yet there's expansion, okay? So you could be wanting to move forward with integrating it in your life, but you're perhaps a little bit undecided, undecided as to how you're going to do that, or you have a choice, or you've made the choice. Uh, let's just have a look and see if there's any obstacles um, to this, or if you're having some assistance with it, okay? Um, so this could be something that's... Um, Perhaps it's just happened or it's happening now or it will happen in the near future possibly and take what resonates. Okay. Uh, right, so I've got three cards. Sometimes I end up pulling four. So this is like um, some possible obstacles or some assistance. So yeah, here we have the oh, it's three of pentacles. Yep, so that's a it's usually about a creative collaboration. So there may be someone maybe you're going to be moving forward with um a friend or a partner into this new venture possibly so there may be some extra sort of support there to help you to do this uh whatever it is you're wanting to move into the ace of cups so yep so you are emotionally on board so that's really supportive as well and here we have the knight of swords and that's you know that fire of um yeah that wanting to move forward like really perhaps fairly quickly you're wanting to get onto it like it's not something that you are looking to put off down the track you're kind of wanting to do it as soon as you can is is the feeling here and it seems that you 
there are energies supporting you uh, to do this so that looks really great it seems that you have more support than obstacles with, for you to move uh, into this and let's just also grab some guidance from spirit as well as you're moving forward um, So there may be, you know, opportunities, uh, four of cups, there, there may be, you know, opportunities that uh, come up and it's sort of suggesting to uh, perhaps make the most of those opportunities, two of wands, yeah, so you'll be faced with a decision as to whether you will um, move forward with that. And here is the four of wands. So this is about... Uh, four of Wands can be about a like a coming together uh, and a support, and it could also be about lightening a situation, having some fun, uh, making it might be even a gathering or a ritual of some sort. So it's looking like that. If, if there is a, you know, maybe perhaps a festival or a fair or a family or friends gathering, that there may be something that will come from that. It may be that there is an opportunity there uh, to engage with other people or, or with an opportunity and that you, it will be up to you, you know, whether you want to move forward with that or not. So it might be around assisting you with this new creative, intuitive or spiritual um, vibration that you're looking to move into, okay. There may not be something specific at this point that you are looking to do, but you are, you have an idea of the vibe um, that you are wanting to kind of be in a little more. Let's just look at, grab some guidance for possible next steps. Um, okay, and then we'll grab a uh, oracle card as well for your spirit guidance for some more high frequency help. Uh, so some possible next steps, the nine of cups, three of swords and the king of cups. Okay, so this is kind of looking like that there may be some healing required here for you, Scorpio. It may be that you are needing to look at the your heart mind connection so how your heart is um is with with this idea and also that if there's anything that's sort of perhaps there's a deep-seated um emotion that you've been holding on to that you may need to work on to release a little bit so you're going to feel more comfortable to so you feel more comfortable as you're going to be moving uh, into this activity that you're wanting to do it may be something that you that spirit sort of guiding you to look at doing alongside of this new activity or if whilst you're doing your creative or intuitive um, or spiritual activity if some of your if some things come up for you to just know that you you may need to be taking up doing some emotional self-care work Okay, support or finding the support of a person. This could be a man or a woman. Um, so everybody she knows. Um, so finding, finding support of someone who is um, quite masterful with, with their emotions and um, working with these situations. If that's something that you are 
carrying within, or it may even it may even be that uh, it, it this is a calling for you to acknowledge that you have actually overcome this and that you are now in this situation here, and so you are uh, you know in a great spot to actually move uh, forward with this um, new venture that you're wanting to move into. Okay, and uh, it may be about just consolidating that yes you've you know you've moved from here so take what resonates it's either that you might need some assistance with some deep-seated emotions that you're that you feel may be weighing you down if you're wanting to move forward or it's that you have moved through that and that you are now um, in a much better place within yourself um, so yeah within your heart space so let's grab a uh, oracle card. And I'll be back in one second. Um, you know what? In Australia here, it's um, I think it's nearly Samhain time. I've just grabbed our seasons of knowledge. Um, so let's just grab seasons of knowledge oracle. Sometimes the little messages in these can be quite fun. Um, because in, Ast in Australia here, we are in autumn. So I think traditionally that was Halloween pumpkin time. Um, but now we have it in spring because, I don't know, it's kind of all mixed up. Um, hang on a minute, let me just shuffle this again. The Spirit just some help with an, an oracle card for Scorpio at this time. Let's just see. I love the gilding on these cards. Oh, elders. Okay. Now I know there's writing there, but I'm just going to read it out of the book. 15, so you can look at the card. And sorry, just bear with me and I will find it. There we go. Page 83. Right, it is a small book. Here we go. Elders. Birthed from seed within the belly of the moon. They are the wise felt touches over our hearts and felt deep in the marrow of our spirit. Let's see. And uh, perhaps you're an elder yourself. Elders are wise. They are the ones who've lived and experienced more ups and downs, twists and turns than the rest of us. Elders were the storytellers and keepers of knowledge. They were the ones we sought when in turmoil and who would hold us as we wept for the unfairness life can bring. They had... Oh, sorry. They had compassion for us but also gave sage advice drawn from their decades of experience today many elders are seen as a burden instead of cherished loved ones who deserve the right to be supported and cared for in their old age many elders have not been given the space to share the wise words of their traditions because our modern world moves too fast for their slow wisdom yet there are those among us particularly witches who still see the wisdom in their old ways. If you hold the elder's card, it is to remind you to have compassion for others and to never disregard someone's wisdom or experience. A Zen saying tells us, you should sit in meditation for 20 minutes a day unless you're too busy. Then you should sit for an hour. This knowledge can be applied to wisdom as well. Often the thing you need most when life is moving so fast is to slow down and see what you've been missing, at, missing, or in this case, what you've been missing. What you've been missing. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, to slow down and see what you've been missing, or in this case, who you've been missing. This card is a call to meet with your elders to see if they have wisdom to share about your ancestors that can help you on your path. So that could be interesting. Scorpio, if there's something creative, intuitive or spiritual that you're looking to move into. And uh, sometimes 
yeah, talking to the your elders, um, and that could be, in you know, in work or in family or you know, friends or colleagues, and maybe it's that this person here is an is an elder too. It could even be that the people at the gathering that you meet are older people. So I guess that maybe, if that resonates, that may be just a bit of a suggestion to keep your mind open. And uh, yeah, and wish you well on your journey, Scorpio, and uh, have a lovely day and a great week. See you again soon.